How's it going everybody? Tommy Starr here with TD Healthy 2015. This is going to be my official intro video for uh, me and my nephew Dylan's weight loss journey. Um, we've already posted a few videos so far just to kind of get things rolling. Uh, but uh, I'm going to use this video to basically share with all of you um, basically my background, life story of everything I've dealt with through my life as far as my weight and my attempted diets and, and things I've tried to do with my life. So. Um, just to kind of go back to the beginning, um, I've pretty much, you know, been overweight since I was probably as far back as I can remember, maybe elementary school. And uh, back in those days, um, you know, I went through a lot of being made fun of at school and, uh, you know, a lot of kids, uh, you know, calling me fat and things like that. And I would go home and be all upset and, and cry and things like that. And so it kind of started really young as far as the uh, the whole, you know, self-conscious stuff. And as I got older, um, into my teen years, uh, I started putting on more and more weight. Um, there was a point in my life where uh, I got a job at McDonald's, and uh, for about two years I worked there, and I, I mean, eating McDonald's every single day, I really put on a lot of weight in those couple of years. And uh, also throughout throughout my uh, life, I've uh, teen years, I, I've tried I tried diets many times. Um, all different types of diets, uh, you know, just exercising, watching what I eat. Um, I tried it with my sister at one point, and uh, it always started out okay, and then it just, like anything else, always failed. So, um, I got to a point in my life um, when I was probably about, I would say maybe around 22, where I decided um, that I've tried so many diets in my life and nothing ever worked and I knew a lot of people like some family members a cousin of mine sister-in-law of mine that uh, that had gone through the weight loss surgery and uh, I decided that you know hey you know maybe this is something that could work for me I've tried diets I've tried everything else and uh, I've seen my cousin and my sister-in-law and some friends of mine that have had it and I've seen all the weight the rapid weight loss that they've gone through and I, you know, I was thinking, hey, maybe this could work for me. So I decided to talk to my mom, talk to my, my wife at the time, uh, you know, give it a shot, maybe I can make this work. So we started with the seminar, we went to the seminar, and uh, that was the first, uh, you, know, you know, the first step in the whole weight loss uh, surgery. And uh, I did everything I had to do, you know, with, for those of you out there that might have done the weight loss surgery, you know, there's a lot to it. Um, you gotta start with a seminar. You, uh, you gotta go through uh, classes uh, for, uh, you know, uh, psychological classes and uh, um, uh, dietitian appointments. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of different things you do. It's like a whole, it's supposed to be like a whole six month period. And uh, basically I, I did all that. And this is the first time around. I did all that and I basically got to the point where I was going in to my surgeon to actually schedule my surgery date. And uh, what he wanted me to do is he wanted me to, uh, at that time, get the official word from my uh, psychiatrist um, that you know I got the you know, green light through him. So basically I just had to go get that through my psychiatrist, present that to my surgeon, and everything would have been fine. So what I did is I went and talked to the psychiatrist and uh, per the results of the test that I took, the psychiatrist test, um, it basically came out to the point per his results sheet thing that he had there, basically stating that um, I'm definitely mentally able to have this surgery, but what he had noticed is I have a lot of depression based on, um, based on you know, my weight and things like that I've gone through in my life. So what he wanted me to do, he said that you're good to go with the surgery, I just want you to meet with uh, my partner and just speak with her one last time just to kind of get, I, I guess, a second opinion or whatever that was so I said okay so it was all set to go and uh, so, and then what had happened at that particular moment it just so happened that that's right at the time where my wife um, and I got a divorce and uh, it kind of happened like pretty much out of the blue and wasn't expecting it and everything just took a turn from there um, I actually went in to my first, or to that one particular appointment with uh, his partner, the psychiatrist's partner, for 
the weight loss related uh, appointment and, and it's kind of funny because what happened is that it turned into it turned into me talking about my divorce with her and uh, it really had nothing to do with weight loss anymore it, like everything just kind of transitioned to this whole I'm gonna be talking to you um, about uh, everything to do with um, uh, with my wife and it, it, you know, it's funny how I just completely forgot about the whole weight loss thing, and uh, that's kind of where it went. I, I, it's like I just completely just threw out the whole idea of weight loss. I kept going back weekly and seeing uh, this doctor, and pretty much just talking about what I was going through with uh, my divorce. And I got really depressed through that. It was one of the hardest things I've I've ever gone through in my life, and uh, um, at that point, because I was so depressed over everything. I didn't care anymore about the weight loss thing. My weight didn't matter to me anymore. Um, and I just kind of went from there. And uh, so after seeing her a couple times, it, it wasn't really helping. Um, I, uh, I didn't really care anymore. And I just kind of gave up on the psychiatrist um, and just kind of took my family in. And they're, they're the ones that basically got me through that. Um, took a lot of time uh, to to kind of get over that part of my life. Uh, but again, like I said, definitely one of the hardest things I went through in my life. Um, so anyways, um, big change in my life. Um, you know, I ended up moving in with my mom and stepdad at the time, and then I ended up getting my own place. Um, and it's kind of like my whole life kind of started over at that point. Um, few years went by, um, and this takes us up to probably, uh, I would say maybe about three years ago. Um, I, I kind of got to another point in my life. Well, okay, so now here he is with my new life. Um, you know, maybe, maybe I'll get the surgery again. You know, I started thinking about it again. Um, and then it just so happened that uh, I ended up getting this hernia. Uh, I developed this hernia um, that just started getting worse and worse. And uh, I, I scheduled an appointment with a surgeon to really to go in to find out about getting this fixed. And uh, Basically, what my surgeon had told me is uh, he asked if it was the surgeon I was talking to from way back in the day for the first time I was going to do the surgery. He had asked me uh, what had happened, you know, why you never got surgery and things like that. And I explained my story to him. And then he asked me, well, are you just are you going to get the surgery again? And I, I wasn't sure. I was like, well, I, I think so. And, and he pretty much told me, well, you need to. You know, it was like, you know, we've talked about this before. You need to get the surgery. And he goes, and if that's your plan, I don't want to do a hernia surgery on you. I'd rather do it at the same time as the weight loss surgery. So, so basically, that's kind of where it began again. And uh, I decided, well, if I'm going to, uh, you know, if I'm going to go through surgery with my hernia, you know, my, my doctors tell me I should do this again. Okay, uh, give it another shot. Um, I was hoping I wouldn't have to go through everything again, but it had been so many years that... I did have to start over from square one again. So went home and talked to my mom again. Um, I, uh, you know, I talked with her and she, again, wasn't crazy about it. My mom was never crazy about the surgery. She, you know, it always made her a little nervous and tried to talk me out of it. But after we had some long talks together, I got her on board and she was all for it. Um, and she became my new uh, support team. Um, you know, way back in the day, first time around, it was my wife. And uh, this time around, it became my mom. So my mom, myself, and also my stepdad um, went into the seminar again. And that's where it all began again. And again, this was about three years ago. Um, so I went in to did the seminar. And uh, I was on the road again to weight loss surgery. And uh, did everything I had to do. Um, did all the classes, the dietitian, phone appointments, and... Uh, uh, the, uh, the psychiatric stuff again, and I, I passed through that again, uh, much better than the first time around. Um, so I mean, a little bit more prepared this time because I had gone through it already. And uh, so um, I got, I finally got to a point where I uh, was talking to my surgeon and he decided that he wanted me to go in to get checked for um, sleep apnea. So I, uh, I had to go in and uh, see a doctor about that and uh, I had to go in and have the sleep study done which was just horrible to be honest with you um, for those of you who have had a sleep study uh, for me it was a, a terrible experience um, you know you gotta get hooked up to all these cords 
Um, you know, you gotta wear the mask, you gotta do all this stuff. They monitor everything about your sleep throughout the night. And uh, <clears throat> went to the, the hotel, got all hooked up, and uh, I, for some reason, could not sleep at all that night. I'm sure it had a lot of it had to do with the cords and everything I was wearing. Um, I have um, I have really bad cases of uh, restless leg, um, and for some reason it was just like the worst that night, my restless leg. So with that and everything else, I I don't even really think I I didn't at the time didn't even think I slept at all. Um, so then I was thinking like, well, how are they going to get results if I can't even sleep? But I made it through the night, went home the next morning, um, and that was done. So now I got to a point where I had to get my results from the weight loss surgery, and. Uh, the schedule the appointment to go in and actually get the results which had to be done in person apparently um, I had to uh, the, the, the the time frame didn't work for my job um, I, I couldn't uh, get the get off early enough to go to the get the appointment done before that clinic closed so again I'm just explaining right now as far as like the hurdles I went through this last time around with surgery um, so this became the first big hurdle and uh, just trying to get in to get my results. Finally, I was able to go in after, I don't know, a few months to get the work up between my job and everything. I, I got into the clinic. They gave me my results. I did, in fact, have sleep apnea. According to the doctor, um, they were able to get monitor some activity throughout the night. I didn't know this, but apparently I slept like two hours that night. Um, so they were able to get um, some results. They had told me that I had mild to severe uh, case of sleep apnea. So now, at this point, um, I had to go get my machine, um, the sleep apnea machine, and that itself is about a 45 minute to an hour appointment um, because I have to teach how to use it and things like that. It's you know, really complicated. And uh, so I went in and uh, uh, to get the results, and she had told me that we got to schedule this appointment for, uh, um, for the weight loss or the, the, the machine. For the the whole uh, you know the course of how to work the machine and uh, I told her that I don't have you know can I is this something I can schedule late because I had so many problems getting in here before and she said no this is something else that closes early so now I'm thinking oh, I it took me so much just to get this appointment scheduled how am I gonna do that now so I explained that to her and then she goes hold on let me make a call and she called over and she said you know what if you run over there right now um, the guy is still there and he said he will do your tutorial on the machine right now if you hurry because he's, he's ready to go. So I said, okay, so I got my car, we drove around to the other side of the building, flew in, and uh, I ran up to the guy and basically this hour tutorial turned into like five minutes. And uh, you could tell this guy was in a hurry, he wanted to go, and basically what he taught me in five minutes just went in one ear and right out the other. And uh, so, um, uh, so I just let him go. I could tell that he wanted to, um, he wanted to leave and I, I didn't want to keep him anymore. So I just, whatever, I took my machine. I left, got home, told my mom. I said, mom, I explained to her what happened. I'm like, this guy was in a hurry and I do not know how to run this machine. So that became the next big hurdle is, uh, trying to do this machine. Um, so then I scheduled an appointment, went and talked to my surgeon, explained to him that, Okay, I, you know, he got my results, I got sleep apnea. And he said, well, we're ready for surgery. What I want you to do is I want you to lose a certain amount of weight, which is like 25, 30 pounds. And then I want you to use the sleep apnea machine for six weeks before surgery. I said, okay. So I was getting kind of excited, I'm, I'm ready for surgery. I just gotta do these two things, six weeks, and bam, I'm good to go. So now I have to figure out how to use this machine. I took it home, I looked at it, my mom looked at it, my stepdad looked at it. We all looked at it, we could not figure it out. We were looking up videos, and it was just like rocket science to me. So I, you know, again, tried to schedule an appointment to get back in to, um, to have another tutorial. That wasn't working because I, uh, uh, because, you know, I, I couldn't get in an early appointment with my job. Um, and I, I told my doctor that, I'm like, you know, can you show me how to use it? And he said, that's not my department. You need to go in and talk to these people. So, yeah, so there we go. So now months went by. I'm supposed to be doing my, um, supposed to be doing my, my sleep apnea machine. I don't know how to use it. And, uh, and so there we go. So now I'm just, I'm, I'm stuck. I've come to a halt. And uh, so 
finally, you know, just some time went by. I didn't really do anything much about it, and I was hoping that, you know, I, you know there wasn't too much time that went by um, with, uh, you know, with the whole weight loss progress for the surgery. And I called my clinic, and they said, well, you know, what's been going on? They haven't heard from you in a couple months. I explained to them what was going on with the machine. And they got, you know, it, it did kind of expire as far as uh, my insurance and things like that. But they got that worked out. They said, you're good. We've got an extension. I uh, went in and seen my surgeon. And uh, he asked me why I wasn't on the machine like he asked. I explained to him what's going on. I said, please, somebody just show me how to use the machine. And he just basically said, I, you got to figure it out. Um, so finally, my mom reached out to somebody on Facebook. And uh, she, she... Uh, uh, ended up finding somebody that uh, that was uh, on the same machine as me, and uh, some some uh, some guy from Pennsylvania. I'm not really sure who he was. Just some random guy that um, ended up responding to my mom, and uh, she uh, talked to him. And I actually called him on the phone, and he explained the whole thing to me, and and he made it very easy to understand. Got me on the machine. I was ready to go, and. Uh, First night using the machine, I'm all excited about it, and put it on, started it, went to bed, and for some crazy reason, I can't explain why, I woke up three different times where I couldn't even breathe. I jumped up, threw the mask off, and I, I, I was like, this doesn't make any sense. You know, this is supposed to help me breathe. What's going on? And believe it or not, it was, it was really scary. I, I stopped the machine, went, uh, I went in, and I woke up my mom. I stayed at my mom's that night, just... So I had somebody to kind of monitor, you know, what was going on with the machine, make sure everything was okay. And I told her I can't breathe. I don't know what's going on. I almost wanted her to call, like, to the ambulance or something because I, 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 was, I couldn't catch my breath. So finally, um, I got past that. It was okay. And I basically was at a point where I was scared to death to use the machine. I never wanted to look at it again. I scheduled another appointment with my surgeon, went in, talked to him. And he basically, long story short, told me that I don't care you need to use the machine if you want surgery because I won't do it without it. And I asked him, like, well, what do you want me to do? I don't know what happened. I, I, you know, I can, do I have to use another machine or something? I'm like, and he just said, you know what? I've never heard of that. You got to use the machine or I'm not doing surgery on you. So, yeah. So that is where the weight loss surgery came to an end. And uh, I didn't know what else to do. And, uh, Throughout the, the whole process, from the first time I tried it all the way up to the second time, throughout all the hurdles um, I've, I went through, um, I started just feeling that maybe I wasn't supposed to do this. Like, like maybe God or somebody was telling me that I'm not supposed to do this. Like something bad is going to happen in surgery. And I was like, why else did, does this stuff keep happening to me? And uh, so that is when I knew officially the surgery was not for me and was not going to happen came home I was really upset cried a little bit um, with my mom um, and uh, we sat down and had a long talk about everything that has been going on what do I do uh, you know how how am I gonna get through this and uh, basically we decided that you know what I've done many diets in my life I tried this surgery process so many times why don't we do something different why don't we create come up with this this uh, this diet where where it's not going to just be about me and my family but um, let's let's reach out online and get, get on YouTube and Facebook and get support from as many people out there as we can so my mom came up with the idea make some videos and uh, as soon as my nephew Dylan heard about this he decided that he he wanted to get on board with me be a part of this lose some weight himself get healthy himself and help his uncle in the process and we, we put this whole thing together on um, this, this whole thing started was probably about a month and a half ago. And uh, we decided that, hey, let's put this whole thing together and make, you know, make it fun, do these videos each day. Um, I decided what the, the diet I'm gonna do is gonna be 1500 calories a day. It's gonna be completely cutting out soda. It's gonna be cutting out uh, sweets and fast food and all that junk food that I've been eating my whole life. And uh, we're gonna, I got a membership at the Y. We're gonna go to the Y every single morning at five o'clock before, before work. Um, and uh, we're gonna swim and uh, we're gonna do all this stuff. Um, and basically it's, it's the diet I'm trying to do is, uh, is a diet that I actually found online through 
a, uh, a YouTuber known as Cool Duder. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of him and seen his weight loss journey and uh, what he did. And I, you know, I've, I, I'm, a, I'm a, subscribe, a subscriber to his page. I've seen all his videos. I think he's a great guy. I've reached out to him for help and ideas. Um, he's a busy guy. He hasn't been able to answer me much, but he has um, really inspired me on what he did. And that's exactly what I want, what I decided I wanted to do. And so uh, that's that's the plan. So uh, six, you know, six four ounces of water a day, the fifteen hundred calories, the gym. Uh, we're going to transition to treadmill, but basically, you know, a diet. You know, all diets. You know, there's there's a carb diet, there's a calorie diet, there's a fat diet. There's a lot of different things that people do, and uh, you know, s some work, some don't. But honestly, in my opinion, I think that that no matter what type of diet you choose to do. In the end, it all comes down to you know self-control, willpower, consistency, and if you don't stick to it and you're not strict, it's not going to work. And that is my plan: is to stick to this to a T. And as scared as I am about giving up, that's why I got my nephew, who is going to be a part of it. My whole family and my friends I know are all going to support me. Um, and I'm also reaching out to all of you. You know, you know, all of you out there. You know, my Facebook friends, you know, anybody on YouTube that might come across this video and my page, please subscribe to it. Be a supporter. Um, support me and my nephew as we go through this journey together. Um, you know, the, I just, I want everybody to know that this video is not about sympathy. It's not about feeling sorry for me. All I want it to be is about support. I just want support from all you out there. Um, and, you know, leave comments, thumbs up, you know, just, just support us, um, you know, give us uh, motivation. I know how hard this is going to be um, to, to do. I, I've done diets many times, but I know that with the support, I'm going to make it through the tough times. I'm I, I'm actually really excited about it. Um, this you know this method that I've I've chosen to do um, through this process. My nephew Dylan and I are going to be doing tons of videos every day at the gym. Um, you know, going shopping. Um, I'm also want to do a lot of different. Uh, uh, I'm so sorry this video is so long, by the way. Um, you know, all of you guys are still watching this. This will probably be the longest video of all. Um, uh, I have no plan on any videos being this long in the future, but um, I'm going to be, uh, we're going to be making videos that, that uh, my plan is for you guys to get to know me as a person and my nephew and get to know him and what our interests are and what we're into. Um, you know, I, I'm really into a lot of different things, really into movies and horror. And I'm going to show you guys all that. We're going to be doing all different videos every Sunday with updates on weight loss, how much we've lost, um, you know, the challenges we went through that week, um, you know, the good things, the bad things. Um, we're, I'm going to be showing you different, you know, maybe different things in my house here, different collections of mine that I have, um, talking about different stories, uh, you know, talking about my dad uh, who I'd lost about 14 years ago, um, you know, to, you know, partially to do with weight loss. I'm going to take you out to Stillwater where he is buried. Uh, we're going to go out there. Um, a lot of things coming. You know, I won't spoil it all, but um, I basically I want you guys to get to know who I am and, and, and get behind me on this. Um, any Anybody who subscribes and thumbs up and, and supports us through this this process, thank you so much ahead of time. I really appreciate it. I Thanks to my family, my mom and stepdad and, and, um, and my son um, and my brother and my sister and my other brothers have been so supportive. Um, uh, and I, I appreciate it all so far, and I know I have a long journey ahead, um, but I'm excited about it, and I know with everybody's help, I'm going to make it happen this time, and I'm going to change my life. Um, I, I'm tired of being overweight. I, I, I'm tired of of not being able to fit in booths. Um, you know, I'm tired of being able to shop at one place for clothing. Um, you know, I'm tired of not being able to get down on the floor and play with my son. Um, you know, I, I'm tired of all of it, and, and I, I, I'm 33 years old, and I want to change my life. I want a better life. I want a healthy life. I want to lose weight. I want to quit smoking. You know, I just want a whole life, change of lifestyle, and that is my plan. And I'm going to stick to it to a T. And I know with your guys' help, I'm going to make I'm going to make it through it. Um, so again, thank you in advance for for everybody's support. Uh, thanks to my nephew Dylan, who has been amazing so far. And uh, I look forward to getting to know all of you guys. Um, I'm really excited about this. And please follow our YouTube page, TD Healthy 2015. And uh, just keep liking our videos, watch our videos, and give me some comments and some ideas, what's working, you know, what I should do differently maybe. I'm, I'm uh, open ears to everything. So again, thank you for, for taking the time to watch this video. 
Um, um, again, my name is Tommy Starr, and uh, I will uh, look forward to seeing some more videos uh, coming at you very soon. Again, thanks a lot. Peace out.